do? He said, first of all, that why do I get a pass for having plastic surgery? Why do you get a pass? Because your family had money? Because you've done transplants or you God knows what? So when I made the video the other day on Sam Sulik, I knew it was going to cause controversy, but I never expected this, you know, bodybuilding legend, somebody I respected my whole life, one of the most entertaining bodybuilders that we know, Lee Priest, he got involved. He says, why do you get a pass on all the plastic surgeries you've done, all the fake hair you've done? If Sam said what he uses, no one's going to believe him anyway, so why did Johnny Bravo waste his time doing a whole video saying he should tell people what he's taking because young kids are going to take steroids. They're going to take steroids anyway, Johnny Bravo. Why don't you tell people how much money you spent on cosmetic surgery and your stupid company? <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, where does this narrative come from about this stuff, which I'm going to clear up in this video? But also, when I made that video on Sam, I didn't make a statement. I asked a question to my audience on a topic I felt was important because I didn't have an answer. I didn't know what Sam should or shouldn't do. So I think there's a lot of miscommunication and some people didn't understand the point of that video. So this video, I'm going to clear up a bunch of things. Now, before I get into it, okay, the subject of Sam Sulik is controversial for so many reasons, but the biggest thing that I've noticed is remember I said, you know, Sam, 2.3 million subscribers on YouTube since the spring. He has probably over 8 million following him total on all social media uh, formats. And if you think about this, okay, there has never been anyone, no Chris Bum said, no nobody, who's gotten this amount of people following him in this short of a period of time. So think about the magnitude, and they all love him. Right? They all absolutely love him. So think about all those people that love him. If you dare, remember I was saying, if you dare say anything bad about him, they're coming after you. I didn't even say anything bad about him in any video I made. But just bringing him up is going to get you attacked. Remember I said that? Well, creators, people on social media, people have become such simps. They can't think for their own anymore. They only care about attention and approval of the people that are following them. And they have this idea in their head, if they kiss Sam's ass, right, and not say anything even controversial at all, that all Sam's followers are going to come and follow them. But they don't understand. They're not 20 years old. They're not Sam. And none of those people who follow Sam, 99% are going to give a shit about them. But they still won't speak their mind because they're scared to get attacked by them. So now, Lee Priest, he went on RX Muscle and he also released an Instagram video. And he said, why does John Bravo get a pass? And he started talking all that shit, right? But this is the thing. In Lee Priest's video, which I'm going to play a clip of, he admits he didn't even watch the video. He watched a few seconds of it, right? And then he went off on me and he said, you know what? I didn't even give the video of a chance because John is so boring. I'm so boring, everybody. I didn't give the video a chance to see if John said anything good, but I'm just going to jump down his throat. Now, I haven't really watched the video of Johnny Bravo's because Johnny Bravo's videos are normally fucking boring as shit and he just rambles on. But I saw the heading why does Sam get a pass on his steroid use? Maybe you said something good on your video. I couldn't care less. And then got so mad at the comments section, he went off on the people in the comments. I'm just reading some of the comments. You're all fucking pathetic. Unfucking believable. If he takes a little bit, like I said, if he takes a lot, if he takes a moderate amount, who really gives a shit? You've used it. And you might say, oh yeah, but I look good for my age. You know what? You're fucking grown men a lot of you and you're worrying about what a young kid's doing. Why does he get a pass? 
What does he need to say what he's taking? It doesn't matter because whatever he says, no one's going to believe him. If he said he used a small amount or a large amount, if he gave you the exact cycle, what? Are people going to follow the exact cycle and look like Sam? No. I use that hard up for fucking content that the, that sort of shit you can come up with. Seriously. So many people need a fucking life. So it's not like he gets a pass. And this is the thing. I actually loved the take he had on a reason as to why Sam shouldn't say anything at all because they're not going to believe him. But as I was saying earlier, in that video, I never made a statement about Sam, whether he should talk about it or not talk about steroid use. I said, I don't know what's a better decision. What do you guys think? That's a question. That's not a statement or my opinion. I'm very careful with my words. Now, I don't think people realize why I even made that video. I didn't make that video to cause controversy. I made that video because as I was saying earlier, nobody, not one person, has more influence on the younger generation. Just go to your gym and look around. Look at even their hairs. They're doing it like him now, okay? With the curls and the hat, carrot top look. Even they're doing the hair. No one has a bigger influence than Sam on the younger generation when it comes to bodybuilding. So I made the video because I care about the younger generation. And I'm sorry. I don't care who agrees with me or not. 99.99999% of people, kids, and I'm sorry, 21 is a kid to me, okay? They have no business doing any steroids. They don't. I know personally the mental side effects, not even talking about the physical ones that can happen as an adult who takes them. Imagine you're a kid with no doctor supervision to control your hormones, what it can have as an effect on you mentally. And we know, look at all the bodybuilders, we're all crazy fuckers. It's for a reason. And when I said 99.999%, right? You know why I said that number? Because that's the percentage of the people that are never going to be in Mr. Olympia. So why are they going to risk their life and take steroids at a young age? I don't believe in it. Yes, there's people that are wonders of the world like Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, Sam Sulik, Chris Bumstead. Yes, they are. There are some of those. But that's not 99.999% of people. So kids don't have any business taking steroids. And that's why I brought up that topic in the video and ask your opinion on what you think Sam should do since he has such a big influence on the younger generation. And that's the only reason I brought it up. But again, it was a statement for you guys to form your own opinions and make your statement in the comments. It was never a statement from me. Now, Lee said some funny shit in this video, which I want to get into. He said, first of all, that why do I get a pass for having plastic surgery? Why do you get a pass? Because your family had money? Because you fucking done fucking hair transplants or you fucking God knows what? I've been open with the plastic surgeries that I did. And I even made a video about it. I busted my nose. And I'll go again. I busted my nose three times in my life. And I had botched surgeries when I was a kid. And I had to repair it as of recently two years ago. That's the plastic surgery that I did. So if I'm a bad person because I fixed a broken nose, then I'm a bad person for it. And the hair, that's the thing I don't understand. I never even knew I had good hair until I was on social media and I noticed it was a topic all the time. And to me, it's hair. Yes, I love my hair, but I never thought it would cause so many people to make jokes about my hair being fake. And I'm sorry to say, I've been on Propecia again my whole life. That's probably a big reason as to why I kept my hair. But my hair is my hair. Now, another thing Lee brought up in his video, he goes, John's parents are rich. Like it's a bad thing. I never knew that having parents that are successful is a bad thing or something to look down upon. Because for me, okay, and I'm going to get a little bit into this story. My parents came to this country at a very young age, they didn't speak English, okay? When I was a kid, we grew up, I grew up, me and my sister, my parents, in a 
small apartment in Spring Valley, New York. Look it up. It's basically the ghetto, okay? And we went from that one bedroom apartment to my parents owning several businesses, restaurants, which were very successful. And what my parents did in their life, okay? If you look at them now, it's a true American success story coming from nothing and becoming something. You never think they'll change, but the news I got, you wash my hopes away. And who am I to call? And I look at my parents as an example to me to be successful on my own. Now saying that, I moved out from my parents' house in my 20s. Moved cross country for 20 years, okay? Only came back to visit a few times, handful of times. I never saw my family. And the reason why people want to say John's parents are rich is because they want to discount who I am as a person. But anybody who knows anything about Middle Eastern culture, they know. You never, ever go to your father, put your hand out, and ask him for a dollar. And that's what my father told me as a 13-year-old kid. To the daughters, they'll give him everything. But to a man, you don't give him anything, and he earns everything on his own like a man. And that's the person that my father raised, which I'm thankful for. And in my life, you know, and I don't like to talk about finances, but I feel like I have to a little bit in this video. In my life, okay... I worked a full-time job 20 years as a software engineer. I had multiple successful businesses. I bought, sold, restored classic cars. And again, if you guys want to dig far enough on the internet, because I know you're good enough, you could see all this stuff. But I don't like to talk about finances online because it's not the look that I want to give. But the reason, like I said, the reason people say things like this about me, it's not just Lee, I've heard this many times, it's because they want to discount who I am as a person. And I want to thank my parents, and I especially want to thank my father for teaching me to never come to him for a dollar and to learn to be a man because that's what made me have the drive that I have in life to be successful on my own and help me become the man I am. And you guys got to understand, the people that come in your life to try to say things to discount your success, whatever it is, they do it. And I'm not pointing at Lee. I'm going to get into that in a second because we made up, I talked to him after, okay? They're doing that because they're not happy with their own life, whatever it is. And the way to make themselves feel better about themselves is to say things like that. So I spoke to Lee after the video, and I hope he's watching this video all the way through. Because um, I understood where he was coming from. He said, you know, John, I was just doing a co comedic thing to you, how you do it in your other videos. And I totally understood it, but I felt like there was narratives that he was saying that it was time for me to clear them up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And again, if you're a kid, I don't believe kids should be taking steroids. Ooh, 